Greetings, intercourse havers. It's your boy. So I'm a big fan of pop vinyls, as many people are, but I, I've been sculpting around them and modifying them or actually making some. I enjoy Dead by Daylight. I'm a big, big, big fan of Dead by Daylight. And they have pretty cool killers. They look very interesting and I really, really enjoy it. So I've made about four or five pop vinyls for Dead by Daylight, but I've only released on Twitter three of them. Why not just make a video and send it to the devs, see what they think. I, I think they would enjoy it. If this video does pretty well, I'm probably going to release more. Let's see. I, 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 I don't know how the fuck this is going to turn out. But today, I want to be doing the doctor. If you guys don't know who the doctor is, ooh, ooh, he's a beautiful man. Um, I need to show you. Give me one second. So the doctor, there we go, it's a handsome man, beautiful, beautiful man, has a great smile, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to capture that, but we'll try our best. Well, there goes that. So we're going to need a, a few things. I, I'd rather pick a pop that has a good pose. I don't like the boring ones unless I can't find any, then I'll use them um, just like my trapper. So this is this is the pop that um, I'm going to be using, which is Mr. Negative from uh, the Spider-Man game. Oh my god, he's broken. And then you'll see me sculpting it. I guess I'll do a fucking voiceover. Oh god, that's going to be so much fun. Alrighty, so let's start with the Mr. Negative pop. Uh, this was bobblehead. I wasn't expecting it, so I took off the inside part, and it, it was pretty easy because it came out pretty broken. But I, you know, I, I'll make do with what I have. Um, so I have the clay. I using Super Sculpty. I think it's Firm, if I'm not mistaken. It's it's the beige one. Uh, they have different ones. I think the gray one is the hardest one. But with my sculpting tool, I ended up just making a shape, almost like a square, uh, I guess you could say. So what I wanted to do is make the folds for the jacket, because the doctor has like a long like trench coat kind of thing. So I did at least one half, and you see me right now just sculpting it, trying to get the actual edges to align. Then I'm cutting out the side where the sleeve is supposed to be. Um, he has a sleeveless uh, trench coat because he's he, he thinks he's pretty fucking dope. And it's just me kind of smoothing things out. Um, I hope you can see something. I My lighting is not... I'm, I'm experimenting with things. So if you don't like it, well, I mean, well, you're gonna have to deal with it for the next, like, 10 minutes. But there you go, I did the other side as well, it was, it was a hard cut, but now I'm just, just working on some detail, making the indentations, smoothing things out, making some wrinkles as well. I'm using my silicone tool right there just to blend some of the edges. Alright, so right here I'm doing a rectangle with the clay, I try to do it as flat as possible, it's, it's semi thin I would say. Um, it's not super thin nor thick, it's, so it's right in the middle. Trying to make it as neat as possible. And this is going to be the bottom part of it. You see, I'm trying to go all the way around and trying to make it meet in the very center of things. <coughs> oh. So you see, I made it, I blended it in, it looks like a little skirt. So I'm just blending in as much as possible, trying to make it look smooth as possible. What I do like about the By Daylight characters is that they have that rough, you know, weathered look. So, you know, you don't have to be completely neat about things. They, you know, it gives them a little charm. So right now I'm just making the indentation for the belt. And there we are, I'm just sculpting a little pack, backpack thingy that he, or not backpack, what the fuck, uh, the, the little pouch thing that he has on his side, and I just sculpted it right in there, make it nice and rectangle, rectangled, yeah. 
So right now I'm just making a little, little warm so I can do the belt buckle. I'm just doing a pretty simple one, it's just kind of like a U shape or a C. And there you go, I did one half and then I'm doing the top half of it. Yeah, I, I'm just trying to just align everything honestly, make it as neat as possible so that way I don't have to work on it later. Right now, I, this is me trying to experiment on things. This was filmed at like 3 in the morning, so I mean, it came out pretty good, but it was it was an experiment. Um, I was also hungover, as you see with the wristband. Uh, I went to the club and I yeah it was it was nice it was nice but yeah right now you see I'm just trying to make like a makeshift collar uh, it didn't work out very well so I ended up still just splitting it in half and then wrapping it around the pot <laughs> you see me just be like fuck that so I it, it came out pretty neat I feel I, it was a pretty easy fix um, then I did the other half and then I started blending in every edge try to try to make it as one piece as possible and then with my tool I just did all the indentations smoothed some of it out added some detail see I'm, I'm trying my best to make it look like it's actually popping out it was time consuming but I feel like it was worth it at the end um, my the right side didn't come out as good but I it looks pretty good enough at least so I'm rolling this little piece of uh, worm because the doctor has these like tubes coming out of his arms. It's almost like it's like wiring. Um, I know he has like two really prominent ones on, well one in each arm. So that's what I'm doing. Just I said, trying to keep to the pop style where it's kind of simplistic. So I'm just doing one in each arm and blending it like almost so it looks like it's almost coming out of his skin. And then this is clay softener so what I do is I put a drop in each section and with a little brush I just clean as much as possible um, what I'm trying to do is just get rid of all the fingerprints I'm doing it for the entire pop because I'm pretty much done with it <laughs> excuse you my dog sneezing I wasn't happy with the face or the headpiece for the mr. negative so I ordered my own Well, ignore that, but I ordered a pop DIY mail and I removed the head and then I'm trying to trim most of it out from the inside bevel thingy because it doesn't fit with the actual bobble head. So for me, I'm trimming it as much as possible. You can trim the whole thing out. Honestly, as long as it fits, you'll be fine. So I just grabbed my Dremel and just did it. Then in this part, I didn't film the whole thing, but I just pretty much drew in the line where the headpiece goes because he has like a little bandana where like the electrical shits are in the shits on top of the shits. So then there you see me cutting the bandage on. There you see me cutting the bandage because in there, yeah, pretty much that's what you're going to have to do. Just pretty much measure it, make sure it goes all the way around. It didn't, it barely got it, but I just ended up blending it in and it came out looking pretty good. With the sculpting tool, I ended up just like trying to make the edges as smooth as possible. Um, I, I don't know if you saw me there, just flattening it out. So it, it, it came out pretty neat. And again, it doesn't have to be completely perfect because the doctor is all weathered and he looks like a zombie pretty much. Um, so there you go. He kind of looks like a, like a karate kid or something. I bought this thing called Bacon Bond, so it's pretty much like adhesive for clays. So you pretty much just put it somewhere that you like um, if you're not gonna blend in two clays together. Uh, so I put a dab in there and then I put this little worm and it pretty much just stay. And when you bake it, it pretty much just bonds. It's pretty cool. Uh, well, bake and bond. So I didn't have to, I didn't have to explain that. Pretty much that's all I did, just do a little worm so I can do like the eye hole, I don't know what do you call those, like eye holders or uh, eyelid holders, I don't know, that's just crazy though. 
So I did another one because he has one on top and one on the bottom. He actually has two on top, but I'm, I'm, I wasn't going to do two. I just did one and then one on the bottom. So it looks like it's spreading his eyes wide open. I, I don't know why I'm doing it with my hands right now, but I don't know what to do with my hands. So then I did the same thing in the opposite side. I cut I cut through it so that way it, didn't, it wasn't as time consuming. It's, the video's already long enough. So I did the same thing, same process. Try to make it as straight as possible so it looks like wires or like steel. And then with my tool, I ended up straightening it up like that. There you go. There we go, it looks all nice. You see all the fingerprints. I pretty much did the same thing with the clay softener. I just didn't record it, but this is me. I did the first one and it didn't record, so I'm doing it again. Um, it doesn't come out as black. It's just that my brush had some black paint that it wouldn't come off, so I didn't care. It was fine because I was going to paint over it anyways. No, I just roll up a long worm and then I cut it to size. And I do three on top, uh, horizontal and then vertical. So there you go, there's the third one. I roll a really long one and I cut it to size. Man, this song is so fucking good though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I can't, I'm, I'm dancing over here because the song is so good. So yeah, there you go, you see me putting the top ones. Um, he has three rows. So I just try to make it as nice as possible, kind of lift them up a little bit. Kind of gravity didn't help, but as long as you can kind of see through it, it should be okay. Yeah, you see, it kind of gravity does not help, but I tried my best to make it look like it's lifted up. Then I kind of blended in, blended, blended it in. I kind of blend in the the corners then I use more bacon but I love this shit so and it came out sturdy as fuck so you see me struggling Jesus Christ dude why do you shake so much alrighty so then baking time so what I do is just follow the instructions mine's is 275 degrees for 15 minutes um, so that's what I did make sure you have an adult while you do this um, make sure it's okay with your parents if you're gonna try this um, you can stink up the place so I just baked it for 15 minutes took it out and then it's coloring time let it cool as well because it's fucking hot and if you get burnt don't be coming and commenting on my video that you got burnt that's all on you so I tried blending in some like beige I think it was and then some like pure brown um, I tried making like a a dark skin tone color because um, the doctor um, that's his skin tone it's a little it's a little lighter honestly um, but it, it works out since he's also all pretty weathered so I think it, it came out looking pretty good at the end or pretty yeah it came out pretty good I did I skipped the most of it because it's just the same process I did a couple layers I wait for it to dry and I did it I redid it then I did the top part I don't care if you get paint on all the other sides you're gonna paint over at that afterwards so you see it's all kind of dirty so now with ivory white from folk art folk art and I tried not getting it on the skin it didn't work so I still painted over it anyway so you see right there it's all over the forehead so but I, I just kept going and did the underside and the top so that way it didn't look like a beige like line so it, it took me a little bit but then now with metallic silver by testers um, it took me a little bit to open it because it's been a while since I've used these so this paint is for model kits, so usually it, it it's really strong, it smells pretty strong, and you need some pretty heavy thinner paint.
paint more paint thinner in order to remove it from your brushes so keep that in mind um, and they're also pretty sticky they draw they take a little bit to dry so be careful with I ruined my, I, I just fucking ruined my table with it so that's why it's all over my table so I did the top as well they're a darker silver but I actually really like just the silver color you can weather it at the end if you'd like um, that's up to you honestly that's it for the head um, did the uh, body it's pretty much the same way I just did the ivory white all over the coat and did front and back a couple layers wait for it to dry and did it again and you don't have to be neat with this you don't have to be perfect just because you're gonna have to weather this anyways and I like the rough look to the pops I think it looks really great for the killers and it just adds a lot of character that but that's on me it also gives me an excuse to be a little bit lazy, to be honest. Alright, so there you go. The body is finished. Um, now I'm just doing the arms. Since he has a sleeveless coat, I'm just doing the, the entire arms to the same paint that we mixed. So there you go, we did the fingers, and then I didn't film this, but with the bright blue, I kind of did different shades of blue, and then painted the the weapon and his eyes. Um, I did like a lighter with a little bit of darker blue. And now with E6000, I put a bit of glue on top, and I let it dry, and just let it dry for a little bit, and then I placed the top. Now, please enjoy the little montage, and if you like it, please subscribe.